and, and what's your assessment of, of that great start that obviously couldn't sustain it? Yeah, well, I think that it's very clear is that when you make that many number of handling errors at this level, um, it's very difficult to win, especially against a, a team of Scotland's quality. And I think we've got to make sure we we um, respect what a good team Scotland are and the chances they took. Um, ultimately, we made it easy for them to try, made it too easy for them to score. Um, in terms of the the chances they took, but they were very clinical. Huge, huge lesson for our for our team as we develop is the the number of turnovers makes it very difficult to win. Obviously, you're rebuilding and trying to push forward. Does this result dent that? I think we'd all love um, progression to be in a nice linear path. Ultimately, it's not, especially when you're trying to do it at this, this level. I think what you saw there is a, is, a, is a team that's trying to develop, trying to add layers to the game, and 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 made errors there and got punished for them. Sometimes you get away with it, and sometimes you don't. Against a team like Scotland, you don't. And so it's be a, it's a big learning experience. It's a really painful lesson. Um, you start as you look at it. Seen against the Scotland team that's been together a long time. I think they're 10, 12, 13 started together a dozen tests. That's for, I think that's the first time our 10, 12, 13 have started together. And it looked like that, didn't it? It looked like uh, the a lack of cohesion in what they did and too many just fundamental errors. Is that, are you frustrated? Um, I, I think after a, after a defeat, you're always. <coughs> Disappointed. In fact, after after a performance where you don't think you've maximised your potential, it's always disappointing. You know, that, it doesn't matter the result in the scoreboard in that sense. If you don't maximise your potential, it's disappointment. And I don't think the team maximised their potential today. Jamie, you've you know you talked of obviously you, you have taken people with you. Obviously, you know, you've spoken to me about them, and it's been really not. What your message to the supporters has been? I hope they saw. Um, the same level of fight and commitment that we showed over the last few weeks. I think the foundations are good, but I think as players we need to be better. We need to execute the game plan better, and we're fully aware of that. Um, we knew that it was going to be difficult coming up here, uh, the history that goes into the game, but um, we weren't good enough today. I think one thing that hopefully the fans saw in the first 20 minutes of the game is a blueprint of how English rugby, how we want to play as a team. Um, but it's now about our ability to back that up for 80 minutes. Uh, yeah, I guess so. We, we're assembling again on on Wednesday next week, so um, I think it's important for everyone to get some some time off in the in these breaks. Um, Test rugby can be pretty cruel at times. I think we saw that today, um, but you know I think it's important for everyone to spend some time with their families. Jamie, would you understand England fans being quite frustrated? They've been told for a long time now that this team's building and growing, and something will come eventually, and they're not necessarily seeing it in the Six Nations at least. Like, I think that's. I can. I think that's quite a hard thing to to talk about. If you think, if you look at, probably our run of form over the last nine or ten games, we won a lot of those last games. Um, so yes, I can understand it. I think if you look at the more global picture of, of where we're at as a team and how we're performing and where we're progressing to, I think, you know, if you take a step back and, and look at it um, as a whole, you know, there are a lot of positive signs. Do we need to get better? Absolutely. Um, are we doing everything that we can to do that? Yes. And those, is there something you can put your finger on with those handling errors? Like why that it seems to just be so much more than usual? Yeah, I d uh, probably not at the time. I think you know there certainly was an element that we needed more composure off the back of turnovers. I think we put Scotland under a lot of pressure, put them, um, turned them over quite a lot, um, but we needed more composure, more um, composure to get into the right position because our intent is always, you know, you can never doubt our intent onto the ball. Um, so you know that was that was frustrating, um, but the nice thing is that we can make sure that we fix that and put some emphasis on that over the next couple of weeks. How do you pick the team up? I know you've got a break, but the next match is obviously Ireland, who are fizzing, aren't they really? And that looks a daunting prospect at the moment. So how do you kind of recharge and re-energize for that? We optimise the week that we have. The fact that we're back at Twickenham is very exciting to me. We've spoken a lot about the record that we want to create at Twickenham, how hard a place it needs to be for opposition to come to. 
that's very much going to be the focus. Ireland are a great team, we know that. Um, they've shown that over the last few weeks, the last few months, a couple of years. Um, but we're going to be a very tough team to beat at Twickenham. Is one of the most important things after a result like this not to have knee-jerk reactions? Because like you said, there's a, there's a lot of this, obviously, you know, the, the try is exactly what we talked about too. Out there. So there's a lot out there that, you know, in, in points that it's delivering what you want, isn't it? So is that the important thing not to have kind of knee-jerk reactions? Yeah, of course it is. I think I think as ever, when you reflect on a game, you look at what you did well and what you probably need to improve on. It's very clear when there's the statistics show that the handling errors were, you know, the way that we turned the ball over wasn't good enough today. That's very clear. But there is going to be some things that we look back and go, that's what English rugby needs to be about. That's what this team is going to be about, you know, going forward. And I think we saw a lot of that in the first 20 minutes. I didn't see it in the second 20. Um, and the contrast, I think, will be pretty clear for us when we look at it back. So... Huge learning for us, young team excited to learn, and we've got to learn fast going ahead into Ireland. Stephen, you're encouraged by a few performances off your bench because a lot of those guys, not a lot of experience. No, and I, and I think part of that, is this, as you step forward, is gradually developing them experience at test level. Um, some of those guys haven't played a huge amount of Premiership rugby either as you start looking at them. Um, but I think what you're seeing is, is guys I think are going to play for England for a long time, and I think they're going to be very good England players. Um, from from point of view, is is ensuring to get that progression at the right time, so their development um, continues to accelerate.